हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट दी वीडियो तो एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ट्रांसजेनिक प्लांट्स इंक्लूड फर्स्ट रेजिस्टेंस टू बायोटिक स्ट्रेस सो वट इज दिस बायोटिक स्ट्रेस बायोटिक स्ट्रेस इज द स्ट्रेस बर्डन ऑन द प्लांट विच इज ड्यू टू लिविंग बींग्स लाइक वायरसिस बैक्टीरिया पेस्ट पैथोजन्स सो दीज पैथोजन्स दे क्रिएट अ बायोटिक स्ट्रेस टू द प्लांट but by using the transgenic plants we can develop disease resistance plant by transferring the some genes which provide resistance to these plants against some specific pathogens so we can also make the insect resistance plant or virus resistance plant or you can say the bacterial resistance plant by just transferring the specific resistant genes to the plant so by using transgenic plant we can make the biotic stress resistance plant second application include the resistance to abiotic stress means we can also develop the plants that are resistance to abiotic stress so here again abiotic stress is that stress which is due to non living factor that may be due to environmental factors so like uh, for example as a change in environment or you can say if the water content is increased or decreased if the temperature is increased or decreased so due to all these environmental changes there is a stress developed in the plant that stress is known as abiotic stress because these are non living factor but with the transgenic plant we can also develop the these abiotic stress resistance plants what we can do we can simply transfer the genes that are the stress tolerant genes to the plant so these genes they definitely help the plant to grow under the abiotic stress conditions now next application include the increase nutritional value so as you can see we can transfer any gene to the plant so we can also transfer the genes that will increase the nutrient composition of the plant fruit so definitely we can also increase the nutritional value of that particular plant or crop and next application it include that we can use this transgenic plant as the factory for the production of recombinant protein because ultimately what we are doing we are just making the recombinant protein of our genes so we can use this transgenic plant for the production of recombinant proteins for the production of vaccines or antibiotic mean in future we can definitely go for the production of vaccines by this transgenic plants or antibiotic transgenics by these antibiotic in these transgenic plants so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much